voice diary on October 1st, AI magic with the phone on relationship in conversation for following each other. Now I study with the uh, teacher, um, Korean name is Jian and Vietnamese name is uh, Huang. And she are uh, good at speaking Korean. She's been uh, run uh, five years uh, about in Korean. So, and then we can communicate with the only the conversation without uh, viewing. That is a very uh, good way to conversation because uh, and this is a highly intense uh, listening skill or communication. And it's uh, better than to, we see each other. Then um, I depend on the sound and focus on the pronunciation, then it's, it will be good and too bad. Today's topic is uh, uh, about relations uh, uh, and then calling. When we um, speak each other and then we have a relation so between families and friends and school and our social in a company and then uh, when we travel and each country has a uh, uh, relationships and then with the people are quite different uh, uh, in terms of the calling, uh, how to call in them. And then especially in Korean, uh, in and very, um, very um, politely. And then they uh, reaching about uh, some, uh, the relations of the age group and then uh, relations of over terms. Uh, I learned Vietnamese, so and then I also know about uh, Vietnamese uh, has the relationship and the calling about uh, each. And then uh, first uh, we uh, say uh, about uh, personal pronoun. AI, can you tell me personal pronoun? AI, can you tell me personal pronouns? AI, can you tell me personal pronouns in Vietnamese? AI, can you tell me personal pronouns uh, in Vietnamese? So, and then I can uh, talk about this. Uh, AI, uh, when we talk uh, in Vietnamese, uh, how can we call uh, people? And then can you make a conversation uh, about the... Uh, uh, calling and using personal pronouns, and uh, how can I use the personal pronouns and then in dialogue in Vietnamese? And then, for example, and when I call older people, when I call younger people, uh, when I talk with the friends, so and then uh, in the uh, market or some, how to make a conversation with the people. How can I call people using proper personal uh, pronouns? So this is very important uh, in the conversation. So and then hopefully um, I can get uh, some basic example about uh, conversation, uh, model conversation. AI, can you tell us? AI, can you tell me uh, the sum of uh, a conversation like? Uh, uh, two people who are younger and older and they have a conversation politely and then so they can uh, use the personal pronouns. So can uh, and I uh, know about the personal uh, pronouns, uh, pronouns and then Mm, about the uh, polite uh, communications. Okay, I check this and then uh, about this uh, topic is uh, directly uh, talk with the teacher and then
I want to ask a question about using voice service on Octopus and uh, how using a phone impact relationship when calling each other. I'm currently sitting with a teacher whose program name is John, and I use the phone and uh, to listen during lesson. He's very good at speaking Korean and has been teaching for about five years. We can communicate through, through conversation without the need to see each other, which is a great way to improve our conversation skills. This method also improved my intensive listening skills because I can focus on pronunciation rather than visual cues. Today's topic is about relationship and callings. When we speak with each other, it influences the relationship to whether it's with family, friends, at school, in social setting, or at work. Relationships differ across the country and how people address each other in conversation varies as well. In Korea, for instance, it's very important to be polite, especially when addressing people according to age or status. I've also learned a little bit Vietnamese and know that relationship and the personal pronoun are significant in the Vietnamese language. Could you explain how to use the personal pronoun? In Vietnamese, such as how to address some people of different age of cultures. For example, how do you address all the people, younger people, or friends? How does this work in a marketplace setting or in other everyday situations? I love to see some basic example of conversation, especially between younger and older people. They show how to use they show how to use personal pronouns uh nouns politely in Vietnamese. Could you provide a simple dialogue where the people are addressing each other using proper personal pronouns? Answer personal pronoun in Vietnamese. In Vietnamese, personal pronouns are very important as they reflect the relationship between the speaker and the listener, and especially in terms of AD and the social state and the family routine, here are some common Vietnamese personal pronouns based on different relationships. So, using the more, more, most formal situation. But, uh, then, then for friends uh, or people of the same age, uh, older men and some uh, slightly older, gee, for older women and some slightly older, <clears throat> and for younger people, younger, <clears throat> for much older men and then women, for two, uh, for people older than you but not elderly, can also refer to teacher or respected people. Example, uh, conversation in Vietnamese. Here's a um, polite conversation between a younger person and older and older person in a casual setting. Well, uh, and call Khoe Hong. Hello, how are you? Chào em. And Khoe Hong and the South. Hello, I'm fine. How about you? I'm Kung Khoe. I'm fine too. Thank you. This example shows how the younger person uses and to address the older person. And the older person uses M to address the younger person. Would you like more example or detail on specific scenario like in the workplace or at the defense? And then um and, how about the Korean? So, Bao Chúng tôi có thể chào thêm à, hôn thôn và phúc chào chuyện mà không cần nhìn nhau. Và đây là các phép hội để các thiên kỳ năng chào thêm của thôi. À, phương pháp này cũng cải thiện kỹ năng nghề thấp. À, xuống vì tôi có thể thấp chương và phát tâm tay à, vì các giáo hữu chính hẳn. Chủ đề hôm nay là về mối quan hệ. 
và phục hồi thì chúng ta nói chuyện với nhau à, dư đồ ăn hưởng đến mối quan hệ dư đồ là với gia đình bạn bè à, xung hộ à, xung à, mối xung xã hội hay à, công việc à, mối quốc gia có mối quan hệ khác nhau và các mối ngồi với nhau trong à, cuộc chỗ chuyển à cũng đặc biệt ví dụ à ví dụ à ở Hàn Quốc chất quan trọng phải lịch sử đặc biệt là khi nói chuyện với người lớn tuổi họ có gia vị à cao hơn à tôi cũng đã có một chút chuyện về à về trang tôn à trên về à mối quan hệ và tài tư nên cũng rất quan trọng bạn có thể giải thích các sự chuyện các À, tại tư nhân à, xuống trong thiên bếp phòng à, sang hàng nước à, các bôi nhói rồn tôi à, nuôi chế hôn hai văn bề dưới này sẽ à, hoạt động thế nào trong bồi thân chỗ hút trong các trình thông hàng này tôi rất muốn à, tay một số ví dụ của văn về các quốc trao truyền đặc biệt là Chú nhói trẻ ba nhói lớn thổ thổi để khiến các sư dụng các đại tiêu hẳn xứng nghiệm lịch sử ở sông trên bếp bạn có thể cung cấp một đồng hồi thôi màu sông đồ môi nhói xuống ô vội nhào vang các sư dụng tại tư nhàn xuống khu hạp hồng. Sông.